Guys, let's get serious. Let's talk about Halloween mega cakes. I'm dedicating this mega cake to trick or treat. So every layer of cake in between the layers, there's great Halloween candies. Oh, sweet. For this trick or treat mega cake, I baked a marble cake. So I made six pounds of my vanilla batter and I dyed it orange. And then I made two pounds of my chocolate batter and I dyed it black. And what I did is I dolloped the orange batter into my pans. I put the black batter in a squeeze bottle, squeezed it, dolloped more orange, squeezed more black, and then I swirled it at the end. I'm making three eight inch round pans. One of them has half the batter of the other two. And now that they're baked, cool, and chilled, I'm going to remove them from their pans, level them, remove the caramelization from the bottom, and then cut the two higher layers in half so that I have a total of five layers. So normally, you guys know, I always cut the caramelization off the sides when I color cake. But in this case, the caramelization blended so well with the orange and black, I forgot to cut the caramelization off the sides. And I left it, it didn't bother me. You know what I don't agree with? That there's a trick or treat cut off age. There is an age, but it's a hundred, so it's fine. It's not a hundred, it's way lower than a hundred. Have you ever tried trick or treating, Orhan, at your age? No, but I would be fine. I feel like I would get away with it. Okay. I think as soon as you can afford your own candy, you're not allowed to trick or treat. It's like some unspoken rule. Now it's time to simple syrup all these cake layers. Sir Squeeze is monitoring Lil squeezes, simple syrup showering. She's doing a great job. She's really learning on the job. Did she have a costume? She did not. We have to get her some costumes. Her squeeze has tons of costumes. What are we doing? So now I have simple syruped all five layers of my cake. It's time to cut a secret chamber out of three of the layers. So the bottom layer will remain whole. The three secret chamber layers will be filled and stacked between, and then the top layer will be whole and sealed with secret chamber. Now it's time to fill and stack these layers, and I want a lot of goodies in between. So I have my simple syrup soaked layers. Three of them have a secret chamber cut out. I have a bowl of Italian meringue buttercream. I put down the first layer of cake on my cake board and now I'm gonna use the same circle cutter I used to cut the secret chambers to protect the middle of the cake because I don't want any buttercream in the chamber. I've decided to place my buttercream into a piping bag and I'm gonna pipe it around the cutter and then I'm gonna use a small offset spatula to spread the buttercream perfectly even. Now I'm going to sprinkle chopped Mr. Big on top of the buttercream. What was the favorite thing that you would get? When oh, you were for me, treat? it's crispy crunch. This. This is delicious. I love this so much that. And now I have my chopped Mr. Big on top of my buttercream. I'm going to pipe on a few little dollops of buttercream on top just to make sure that the next layer of cake sticks. Because the chocolate bar sort of raises the cake layer, if there isn't enough buttercream, you can just use a piping bag and pipe a little into the gap and then use a small spatula to ice away the excess. You can keep the crummy buttercream for our crumb coat. And now we're gonna continue to fill and stack the cake, protect the secret chamber with the circle cutter, pipe a layer of buttercream, spread it nice and even. And on this layer, I am spreading out Skittles. Again, I'm gonna pipe little dots of buttercream and then add the next layer of secret chamber cake. You know the drill. Uh, I put the circle cutter, I pipe, what? I'm acting it out, right? Yeah, we have footage. Chengis is like, the footage I captured is way better than what you're doing right now, so just stop. So now I'll put on another layer of cake, protect the secret chamber, clean up the sides, pipe on the buttercream and spread it. And on this layer, this is the salty layer. So I'm adding buttered popcorn and salted ruffle chips. Now I can pipe on some dollops of buttercream, add another layer. I'm, I'm repeating until the buttercream is on. This is gonna be the final layer of filling. So I saved the best for last. Chopped crispy crunch. Hold on. Mm. When my son trick or treats, I take those out of his bag. I'm helping my son. I don't want him to have cavities. 
I am being a good mother. I think as soon as you can afford your own candy, you're not allowed to trick or treat. It's like, just go to the corner store and buy yourself some candy. Don't, why are you both shaking your heads at me? Crispy Crunch is on. You know what it's time to do. It's time to fill the secret chamber. So what's gonna be in the secret chamber? I'm not telling. See, this is the thing. They're called secret chambers because the idea is when you give someone a cake and they cut it open, they're surprised. And normally you guys know what's on the inside because you watch me build the cake, but today we're not gonna show you. Oh no, oh, I'm not gonna show you. We're gonna reveal the horror at the end, okay? It's one of the most terrifying things that happens while you're trick-or-treating. Is, is it toothpaste? No. Oh my God, people give out toothpaste? The secret chamber has been filled. It's truly a secret. You guys have to wait till the end to see what's in it. I'm adding my top layer of cake, which is a full layer. And now I can crumb coat and chill this entire cake. Like I said, I'm not gonna waste all that crummy buttercream from before. So I'm just crumb coating and chilling. Should we call it crumb coating and thrilling? Cause it's Halloween. See that? Now that my cake is chilling or thrilling, I'm going to color some buttercream for the outside. I'm thinking I want the outside to be like a really bright, fun green. Like Frankenstein if he wasn't so pale. You know what I mean? Now it's time to ice this cake. I'm just slathering on this bright green buttercream. At first, I was thinking I would leave it not so smooth and kind of ice the cake messy because it's Halloween. What's scarier than a messy cake? Nothing, not even zombies. You guys agree. The problem is then when I asked Chengis what he thought, he liked it but said it didn't look that messy. <laughs> like my version of messy is not messy enough for other people. I thought it was horrific personally, but I decided to use a scalloped cake comb along the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this cake comb all along the side, spinning my cake on the Lazy Susan to create a really nice scallop. And the trick is to keep going around until you get the smoothest scallop that you can. That's why it's really important to ice on a really good layer of buttercream because you end up scraping so much of it away. And when you're happy, you can smooth the top. And now I'm gonna chill my cake before the next step. For the next step, I decided to create a nice black drip on this cake. I kind of want it to look like it exploded on top and it's just oozing. So to do this, I'm gonna make half a batch of chocolate ganache. I'm making dark chocolate ganache. And while it's still warm, I'm going to add in some super black food coloring so it turns into black ganache. My ganache is nice and cool. I'm going to place it into a squeeze bottle and then I'm gonna begin to drip. So you know, you just wanna go around the cake sort of squeezing, moving the drip bottle along, squeezing. The harder you squeeze, the longer your drip will be. And you wanna do this right at the top corner of the cake and go all the way around. And then once you're all the way around, you can squeeze more of the ganache on top and I use a spatula to smooth the top and to bring the ganache out to meet the edge where I created the drip. So now I have a bunch of goodies that I'm gonna decorate this cake with on top and at the side. So now what I'm gonna do is start to build the cake on top. This is like any other mega cake. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted it to look, so I just start and I go with the flow. I'm gonna add some black eyeballs on top around the perimeter of the cake. I'm not placing them perfectly. I'm just dropping them wherever they'll be. And then I'm gonna create a bed of green gumballs in the top center of the cake. I start with a center one. I go all the way around, then I add more all the way around. And I wanna keep building these gumballs up. So what I decided to do was use more of my chocolate ganache drip to help keep the gumballs in place. And now I can add another layer of gumballs. This time I'm going to add black gumballs. Then I add more drip, another bed of green gumballs, more drip, more green gumballs until it's like a little mountain of gumballs. Now I'm gonna fill in some of the space on top of the cake. I'm just throwing on the green sixlets, the green dragees, and then I decided to glue some eyeballs onto all the black gumballs. So I'm just gonna pipe on a tiny bit of royal icing to glue each royal icing eyeball to the black gumballs. And I wanna make sure that the eyes are kind of all looking at me from the front of the cake. All eyes on me. How cool would it be if you were in the kitchen and you made put these eyes and then you walk around somewhere else in the kitchen and they're still looking at you? Uh, cool is not the word I would use to describe that, but thanks. I think that would be scary. Yeah. Look at his face. Yeah. 
And now what I want to do is fill in the sides of the cake. So I'm adding these big gummy spiders. I'm adding the bloodshot eyeballs down around the bottom. And then with the gummy worms, I decided to just sort of fold them and I want them to look like they're coming out of the top of the cake. So the idea is it's like the cake exploded from the inside and it's just bubbling up and worms and stuff are coming out. So that's it, that's the cake. Okay guys, before I cut this cake and reveal the horrific surprise inside, I wanna remind you guys that you can join my membership club to get high quality sprinkles delivered to your door every month. Or you can also join the deluxe membership and you'll get cakeware, not as Halloween-y as this, and a free gift every month with your sprinkles. So if you wanna get this awesome crew or these gorgeous sprinkles, head to the link in the description below. Uh, Changus, I need a spotlight. I need you to readjust. I'm gonna get the cake. Is everybody ready? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm so ready and so excited. Is that frightening? Yes. Because this is about to be extremely frightening. These don't stay on my head. I can't, I can't cut a cake with these. Just give me a moment. Are you ready for the horror that is inside this cake? I am. Here we go. The first horrific part is that the top will probably fall apart as I'm cutting. That's terrifying. Let's go. Oh boy. There's a lot of goodies to cut through. Oh boy. Okay guys. If this is not the scariest thing you get while trick-or-treating, I don't know what is. The horror! <sighs> Look, they don't even want to come out. They know they're not a Halloween treat. Raisins! Guys, this is not a Halloween treat. These are raisins. They belong in cereal and oatmeal and as a healthy snack, but they don't belong in a trick-or-treat bag. Don't do it. Do you want your house to get toilet papered or eggs thrown at it? Don't do it. If you guys want more cake, click here. Get out of here, you raisin. <laughs>